What up, what up, it's Dane, and in this video, I'm gonna be telling you how to get abs quick. Right up, I can get abs whenever I want, and I want to do the same for you, so I'll tell you exactly everything you need to know. Okay, so you want to get abs this year, and I know you're fired up, I can tell you motivated. First of all, I'll tell you about diet. That is the most important part. Don't worry about cardio. I see, especially women, man. All they do in the gym, cardio, 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 all the time. Don't worry about that. Worry about diet. Food intake is the most important part when it comes to getting abs. I myself, I used to just do ab exercise after exercise after exercise, wondering, man, why am I getting? I'm not getting abs, right? And then on the other side, I used to be like, okay, it's all nutrition, but I go real strict, and then on Sunday, I'll blow my diet. You know what I'm saying? So I'll tell you, I've had these experiences, but now. If I want six pack of abs, I can get it when I want. I've got them now. They're not really, really, really toned and defined, whatever you want to call them, but I've got them. I can get them whenever I want. So I'll tell you exactly how we do this. Okay, so first of all, you need to have discipline, right? I'm going to tell you now, dieting is not the easiest thing in the world. However, it's not the hardest thing in the world when you know what you're doing. Motivation will run low sometimes. So if you really want it, you'll get it. You know, it's, it's turning into a motivational video, but if you really do want it, you will get it. Okay, so what diet do you need to go on? There's paleo diet, protein diet, uh, nose diet, whatever. There's so many diets in this world. Just try them out. Pick one pick one that you can stick to that fits for you. In my opinion, I think intermittent fasting is real good. It fits for a lot of people. Uh, you, if, for example, say you want to go out to eat dinner with someone, you just don't eat anything during the day and then you can eat it there. So you can still kind of live a lifestyle while doing intermittent fasting, but it's not the only way to lose weight like some people think they are. You can just try any diet, as long as you're in a calorie deficit. Probably the most important part of the video, eating in a calorie deficit in order to get abs quick and fast. This is so important. Screw the exercises, man. I'll talk about that in a second. Screw the exercises. Let's talk about nutrition first. Nutrition has got to burn that fat off your stomach, make your stomach flat and rip, bro. Right? Never mind doing any exercises, your abs will still look good because you'll actually be able to see abs. So imagine just doing exercises with no nutrition. You won't be able to see your abs at all. It's just completely pointless. So what food sources should you be eating in order to get abs? Like I said, you can do any diet, but there are some food sources that will help you in order to get this abs fast. Oh, quick, whatever you want to say. <laughs> so vegetables, vegetables, and then, well, and then vegetables. Oh no, and some fruits. Those are probably gonna be the main components in your diet. Just pick vegetables that you like. If you really wanna get anal about it, green vegetables are the ones lowest in calories out of all of them. But make sure like I did, don't make the same mistake like I did. I just ate white meat and green vegetables all week until Sunday. And Sunday I just went to the supermarket, boom, loaded all the shopping trolley or shopping basket with sweets, man. I blew that out. That was a 10,000 calorie challenge every Sunday. So anyway, some food sources, your vegetables, fruits, fruits, I mainly recommend as berries, and then lean proteins, chicken, turkey, all these kind of things. And then obviously legumes, like kidney beans, black beans, whatever you want to call it. Those are probably gonna be the main components of your diet. And then <laughs> you can still have a cheat day, obviously, if you want abs, like it's not like, oh, I've got to change everything. You can have a cheat day every Sunday, but don't go and blow your diet like I did. So that's one really important thing you need to know about nutrition. Basically, to get abs fast, I'm just gonna, or quick, I'm just gonna tell you exactly how to do this. Your food intake is this, and your expenditure is this, so your need, non-exercise activity from a genesis, stuff like this, so if your expenditure here is lower than your intake, you will lose weight. You will lose weight. Or just, you can do this in many different ways. That's why people do cardio, because you could just, if your food intake is equivalent or the same as your expenditure, that means even, but if you do cardio, then you drop it again and you're in a calorie deficit. So to get a calorie deficit, just do 15 times your body weight in pounds. Once you have that number, minus 500 and you, sh you, you will get abs. And after a few months, it depends on how high your body fat percentage is, then you'll maybe need to drop that a little bit and incorporate some more cardio, right? Typically, I just recommend steady state cardio depending on your body fat percentage once again. If you're like 10% and lower body fat percentage, I recommend walking, but if you're any higher than that, you can do steady state cardio. Okay, so now you, let's talk about the ab exercise. Like I said, the nutrition is way more important than the ab exercises, but they're saying that abs are made in the kitchen. They're not, they're displayed in the kitchen, right? So by you cooking healthy food, you're gonna display your abs, but they're not necessarily made in 
the kitchen unless you're doing some sit-ups or crunches on a stove or something like that because if you do I want to see that because that looks sick so anyway yeah let's get some exercises on the go first of all you need to realize that in order to get abs in order to get them blocky or muscly or muscular whatever you want to call it you need to do stick in a rep range of 8 to 12 right stop doing this high rep bullshit that's just going to train endurance and all these kind of things it just doesn't make sense people are doing like 50 crunches uh, one hundred sit ups, like it just doesn't make sense. Train your abs like any other muscle in the gym or even at home. Just take some books or something in a book bag and swing them with decent oblique twist, shit like this. So you can definitely get bigger abs by doing the ex exercises. Of course, it's a muscle that's how like any other muscle grows. So eight to twelve rep range, three to five sets, you should be good to go and probably train your abs maybe every other day if you're serious about it. Definitely not every single day, but three hundred sixty five days a week. A week. Uh, yeah, makes sense, man. A year, so yeah, you're gonna do non. You're gonna get to non-functional overreaching, aka overtraining. So yeah, you can definitely build your abs, and it will help you get a six-pack. But remember, abs are displayed in a kitchen. Burn that fat off, you display them. Then, even if you do, you can actually make abs in the kitchen. If you can do all these exercises on a kitchen table, if you really want to stuff like this. So anyway, this was how to get abs quick, right? And the main important point of the video, and for those people that just clicked off the video, they just lost all the value here because I'm going to tell you how to get the abs the fastest and the quickest way here. Okay, so depending on your body fat percentage, it will determine how fast you can get your abs, but here's the formula. Like I said, 15 times your body weight in pounds, you can do minus 500. If you're like 12% body fat, you will get, well 12% body fat, you've got abs already. 15% body fat. You can minus 500 if you're on a like chubby on an overweight end then minus like 700 to 1000 now this is the fastest way the bigger you minus that number the faster you're gonna lose weight so that's really important however you need to understand that if you are quite a advocate average body fat percentage and you minus about a thousand you won't be able to sustain it over a long period of time right it's just not sustainable so you're gonna have to think okay this is short term i'll diet down get get my abs and then maintain it and then i'll go back down again if i want to get to a lower body fat percentage so that's the quickest way and the fastest way to get abs it just determines on that number that you minus it by if that makes sense to you so anyway hope you got some value out of this video if you did stay positive stay smiling subscribe down below leave a comment and i'll see you in the next one